This is an Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. It's very pretty, I like it a lot. It's with me this week at White Details for a new car prep. 2.9 litre V6 twin turbo producing over 500 horsepower. This particular model is very special with the Montreal Green, or otherwise known as Verde Montreal, colour pack. My customer's down from the south coast, driven five hours north to make it to what he does. I'm going to allow the wash footage to play through and then pick up again later before we look at the paint condition and do some polishing. And yes, we will be doing a clay bar to contamination. Even though it's a brand new car, you still can't be too sure whether there's fallout or contaminants bonded to the paint. Back in a bit.
Other than a couple of stray tar deposits, the car was very clean. Naturally, it's done less than 500 miles. Moving forward into the paint polishing process, however, already on the bonnet, here we can see an area of sand and marks where there's been some denibbing action, denibbing a defect in the paint with sanding discs. And then it's no great surprise to find rotary holograms or buffer trails on the bumpers, the plastic sections. Typically on new cars, this is more than likely going to be on the bumpers, the plastic sections, as they're supplied from the supplier to the factory. And then at the same time, some of the gloss black sections, as you can see, are suffering from defects holograms again. And then the carbon fiber mirror caps. These also have holograms induced from polishing, but there are some deeper swirls and lighter scratches here. So that might take some more polishing than what's already included as part of the new car prep package. Otherwise, as you can see, easy peasy. The rest of the car, the majority is fine. However, that said, a single stage polish, which is included again in the new car prep, it's amazing, even without the defects, what that single stage polish can deliver. Enhanced clarity, gloss, reflections, slickness, and also preps the base ready for the coatings.
prepping the brake calipers with isopropyl alcohol, IPA, to strip and degrease the surface ready for protection to be applied later. As well as finishing the last few polishing stages, this beard up on the roof, the metallic grey section on the roof line above the windscreen. And at this point we can make a start at uh, looking over the interior. A very nice place to be on a hole uh, has done very little miles but there is some light soiling. Crumbs, dust on the surfaces, a basic clean, basic wipe and a vac required. Protection wise for the seats because they are Alcantara and leather, the bolsters, we need to think about two different systems. First being Modesta's LPS, the leather protection system, which is a two part product. LPS01 goes on the entire leather surface, and LPS02, which will be applied many hours later, goes on the hard wearing, the high impact and abrasion areas, such as the bolsters, the armrests, the lower back, should the chair be a full leather seat. Massaged over the leather with a microfiber applicator pad. And as I say, coming back to do the second part in three or four hours time. With the wheels and calipers now coated with Modesta's BC06, it's time to turn our attention back to the interior and finalize the protection on the seats. Before LPS02, the second part of the leather protection system is applied, we're gonna concentrate on the fabrics. 
at this point what you don't want to do really is start spraying a fabric guard a fabric protection directly to the surface because you're going to cover the leather you're going to cover the plastics you're going to cover the console all of the surrounding areas in a sticky tacky horrible possibly going to stain these areas so instead my method for these kind of seats is to use a small cut down dedicated section of microfiber towel saturate the towel away from all of the surfaces and once again massage the product over the surface without concentrating initially too much in the same place because you could leave a damp tide mark area but typically i'll give two or three coats with this method massaging it into the surface or onto the surface with a clean damp microfiber towel on standby just in case we catch the leather LPSO2 is yet to follow, but moving on to the exhausts, a bit of toothpickery work to clean the cracks and crevices and power gaps from polish residues. And then we can prep the surface of the car with isopropyl alcohol once again in readiness for coatings tomorrow morning in the form of Modesta BC of 4.
generally that get is on sensation plays. That really is cool. Like, on the videos and pictures, you don't really get the true, no. the true colour. Yeah. You can't pick the colour up in the pictures. Oh, I don't want to try it. <laughs> no. Especially on the other today. Oh, well. More cars should be this exciting. Yeah. Oh, I didn't feel so amazing. Amazing. Me as a detail, my life more interesting. Yeah. Oh, I did. Oh, I was like, it is. Oh, it's magical. Thank you so much. Yeah. Do you want one of you in the car? No, I want one of you in the car. No. Oh. Want me in the car? Yeah. Yes, please. It's my head. I'm a bit smarter than normal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're seeing, actually. If we do it, uh, 